Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. No, Lee. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This isn't the kidnapping, Lee. Then what is it? A rescue. All right, guys, we're back with The Walking Dead, uh, episode five. Um, you saw a little bit right there, so we'll see what kind of trouble we can get into and see what's going on with this guy and Clementine who's rescuing her. Just hold on, Clementine. Yeah, we gotta Don't save worry, her. Pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? Not great. My hand is hot. And it's thumping a little bit. You seem okay for now. Yeah, totally. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Nothing through here. Damn. I was kind of hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. some surgical supplies. Can we use the surgical supplies to chop off my arm? There's a lot of what them out there. Looks like Vernon and his people cleared their shit out of here in a hurry. Where the hell did they go? I think I found a way out. Got to use that rib spreader. Can't get my hands in between the doors. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. Oh. Uh. 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 Uh.
We gotta chop it off, guys. Chop it off. Fuck. Is he alive? Shit. This is bad. Fuck. Help me move it. Okay. This has to be done. Sorry, pal. I gotta do it. Whoa! Stop! He's awake! He's still bitten! So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. By chopping his arm off. Yeah, do, do it. Know it works. We don't know anything. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Damn right. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do if it. There's a chance it stops you from turning. We have to take it. Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. It's a big risk. Yeah. Better than We're turning. Without a lot of options. <sighs> this, this is going to Cut hurt. Off. Oh. Seriously. Yeah. Yep. Just gotta get through. It was easier when I thought he was out. Oh, Jesus. Fine. <laughs> I'll go as fast as I can. Oof, does this would hurt. Fast would be good. Look. You can move. <laughs> Oh. Try to oh. stay still. Oh, we'll pick silence. Gotta tighten the tourniquet. I'm sorry. Ugh. Ow, man, that looks fun. Ugh. Yeah. Holy shit. Holy hell. We thought maybe we'd lost you. You've been out a while, man. My arm's on fire. I can still feel my fingers. Holy hell. Oh, this hurts more than you can believe. Do you think you'll be able to travel? You lost some blood. Don't have much of an option, do we? Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone. Peachy. 
but this is fun. Level four. It's a good thing I picked triangle. So all these came in following the noise of the train, huh? Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Well, what do we do now? Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up and all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I, uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. He lost a lot of blood down there. If you find yourself getting winded, or worse, you gotta let us know. wasn't my favorite hand anyway. Well, you haven't lost your spirit. Seriously, though. Don't treat me any different. I got one goal, you hear me? Yeah, we do. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. Well, there's a bell tower. Let's see. He or she walked away from whatever accident happened. And that doesn't really mean much. Let's see, you got a ladder. Oh. It's like an extension ladder. Okay, so I see what happened. They were they were painting help and then they fell and probably hit their head or something. Some poor bastard took a spill. Yeah, looks like whoever was up here painting that sign went ass over tea kettle. Yeah. And then jumped off or turned and jumped off. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. See anything? Nah, I'm just, uh... I was taking a minute, actually. Sorry, I, I know I shouldn't... There's a bell tower over there. We know what those do. Yeah. Could be part of how we get through the streets. Yeah. How many you think are wandering around underneath us right now? In the hospital? Thousands. I mean, who knows? It was full of dead before, right? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. And out there? Look at that dust. Fuck, man, who knows? Any thoughts about anything else? Nah, I'm all right. Just needed to take a second. I'll keep an eye out over here. Sorry. What's going on? That's just... everything. Fuck, man. You know. I do. I can't thank you enough for what you did for Duck. I don't know how I'd be if you hadn't. Don't dwell on it. I look at where we are. Right now. And I can't imagine Cat and Duck and all this mess. Can't. No, 
No, I'm sorry. We're in a fucking hurry to get off this roof. It's it's not the time. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Ooh. Here's a way down. Yeah, if half the dead population of Georgia wouldn't wander in the streets down there. Okay. Well, we gotta get them out of here, guys. What do you That's think? That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. I might have a way to clear us a path. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. Anything else to say? Anything over here? Honestly, my vision isn't great. I think it's allergies or all that shit those walkers are kicking up. I was thinking you and Omid wouldn't come with me. We can't stop looking out for each other. You two have been solid since day one. What's this? Day three? Four? Well, I appreciate it. Allergies. Shit. People used to get those. I know, right? You never see anybody in an end-of-the-world story with pay fever. <laughs> it's not the time to get wistful. I know. It's this deal with Clem. It's everything. It's put this rage inside me like I can't even say. I used to get allergies, too, and just... Fuck. Who was that guy? Someone with priorities? Got any good ideas for getting through that, uh, herd? I'm working on it. Are you gonna be able to hang in there? I have to. The mansion's that way. Yeah. If we can use that bell tower to bring them to that side of the hospital, it won't be an easy trip back toward River Street, but it wouldn't be impossible. I'm with you. Just have to get over there. So if you guys remember back when we dropped Ben, Vernon was asking if we came in on the train. I bet you he, he saw the horde coming through and came back and got his people the heck out of here. Like, we're getting out of Dodge. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Yeah. That could help. Hey. How's the leg? It's doing a lot better. Thanks for going into Crawford for me. Even if it wasn't entirely for me. Clementine, too. She's tough as hell. Isn't she? Yeah. Don't worry more than you should about her, okay? I think you're Clem's favorite, you know that? Really? Yeah, she's a big fan. You get away with shit I never would. We're getting her back, Lee. You know that, right? Yeah. When we get this fucker, we'll get out of sight and leave you with him. You get me? I get you. I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. Okay. Be careful, though. I don't want you going any sooner than you have to. Thanks. I can try to jump to it. What about the extension ladder? Highly doubt I would make that jump. Highly doubt any of us would make that jump. There. Let's have the guy with the one arm pick up the extension ladder. Whoa, you need some help with that? I got it. Damn it. <laughs> How is he? 
How is he holding the ladder up and raising it at the same time? Yeah. That's hard enough to do with two hands. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Because the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time? Yep. I mean, one of them could be holding the end. Wishing I had my other hand. No shit. Try to find another way out of there. A few solid rings of this, and there'll be thousands down below. It's locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked. Well. Guess we'll ring her. Figure out what to do after that. They're coming this way. Tons of them. Jesus! Now get back here! Just run and jump. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. Just a little hop. Just a little one, Lee. You got this, broski. I got you. Hey. Let's get the hell off this roof. Atta boy, Kenny. Oh, what snap. Come on, just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck. How could this happen? This was Vernon. You think so? Definitely. Hey, guys. He knew about it. Lee's right. It was Vernon and that support group. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah. The invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make a wish was a fucking boat ride. When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out. We'll never find them. We would have done the same. Says the guy who wouldn't take a box of food from an abandoned car. Things have changed. 
He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us and Clementine behind. They fucked us! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. <laughs> Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. Send the guy with the bad leg over the fence. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two, you know, yourselves. It's not like that, man. Bullshit, it's not. Don't engage him, Omid. There's other shit at play, all right? Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Yeah. We gotta get out into some open spaces. You know that's what I'm for. This is bullshit. You might not even be around, so... With all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! Did they shut the garage even? So they just ran into the yard and left the doors open. They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Search the house for weapons. On it. Kenny. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Omid. What is it? Everyone, help Omid now! Oh, jeez. Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Gotta get a knife! Should've went for the top drawer. Open it. There we go. Take their goddamn arms off! Gross. Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems sturdy to me. I think we're fine. Yeah. Very sturdy. That's what I was saying. Get upstairs. Go. Just put a couple boards on the front. Oh, look who it is. Hey, girl. Guys, help me with this. It's over, guys. We're all dead. Yeah, we only got so many bullets, though. We can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. Go for How what? Many bullets y'all have? Three, five, four. You all know where to aim. This is so dumb.
Look at them all. I'm out. I'm out. Me too. Fuck. Where do we go? There's no goddamn opening. Up. Yeah. And we'll pull the ladder up. Fuck. Uh, crawl faster. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third, Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. What else you gonna do? I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> uh oh. Hey, you're not looking great, and you're warm. I'm okay. Don't. What did that mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her yet. Yeah, yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Stop it. We can't panic. Do you think that worked? I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting something dropped on my head? Now, hey! <laughs> Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. What if it was you, and it was Duck out there? Whoa there, friend. I bet you'd rather stay focused on the problem, not have people turn on you. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! You ruined that dude's face. <laughs> Shut up, sweetie. Look. <laughs> it's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on Alcatraz here. We can't spend the next three months... <laughs> this wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I'm sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down.
Yeah, was I supposed to grab the bus and chuck it at Kenny's head? Because I wasn't going to do that. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. He probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. If you were me, you'd be a foot taller. Hey! And about 50 pounds heavier. You, uh, wouldn't get scared as much. With your arm and my leg, I'll cripple fight you right here, buddy. Oh, I still got this one. I can put my right palm on your forehead and just let you swing away. <laughs> Fine. You win, jerk. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone, too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We figure out who he is, why he's doing this. We can rescue Clem, but she won't be safe if this guy's not gonna stop. So, did your crew get into any shit before you met up with us? Is it possible to have survived and not gotten into some shit? And, you know, whatever happens to you, um... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off. What good is it to plan around that working? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't uh, be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? Still feels pretty recently chopped. So, no, Kenny feels about as, uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. So, take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone too. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway... We had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers. Yeah, I think she's pregnant. I'm through. No walkers. Things are looking up.
All right, guys, we're going to end this one here. So like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Kesmir out.